right, in this video we're going to talk about something that Chris did the other day. Chris, you want to go ahead and say what you did the other day? Yeah, so basically I deadlifted two times in a row and two days in a row. Or two days in a row and you shouldn't do that because it takes about 24 to 48 hours, maybe even more if you're like a little bit toned and weaker and heavier weights. Um, 24, 48 hours, not minutes. To, for, for what to happen? For your muscles to fully recover, or else you can cause injury, like a hamstring pull or something. Yep. I'm not sure if that's even a thing, or a tore ACL. Or something. That's it. Yeah. Terrible things that should happen. And when I was doing it twice in a row, he stopped me and told me, "Get the frick out of my gym." Oh, no, that was another video. My bad. So but I man. caught myself, and he told me to not do that because it takes a while for your muscles to recover. And yeah. That's my so what would you recommend to the me. to the person watching this who works out, who might be doing? you know, bench two days in a row, or a squat two days in a row, or a heavy lift two days in a row, what would you recommend to them? Uh, I recommend for you to actually be smart and not be dumb like me. Um, you, know, you, don't, should, don't say that. you should probably think about how much weight you do, because if you go light, maybe you could do two times in a row, but if you go heavy one day, then you go heavy another day, that could cause so much injury to you, and it takes a while for your muscles to actually recover. So how long should they rest? If, if, let's say they go heavy today, how long should they rest? Uh, so if you do like bench at least like 150 plus today or something, then maybe you should rest for like a day or another day, and then do bench again. There we go. All right, so that's just a little tip. Remember to rest, especially if you're going heavy. Remember those bowling pins in that last video that I did. Thanks, Chris.